good. I, I wanted to hear a message about how to rule the world. That's how far this will go. We're not just put here to be nothing, to die and go to heaven. We're put here for a purpose, and it is to fulfill all of the Word of God. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world. Say, rich in this world. Rich in this world. Is that in your Bible? Yes. yes, it is. God must know something about it then. He's writing about it. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches so is it possible that there could be people that are rich in this world that are not trusting in uncertain riches mm -hmm. so they must have trusted in certain riches say certain riches, certain riches. are you seeing this yeah. it's the opposite side of that everybody goes oh no those people got rich in this world because they trusted in uncertain riches well he's saying charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches so there is a way listen there is a way to be rich in this world not trusting in uncertain riches well that's for me but trust now he's gonna tell you how he's gonna tell you how but trust in the who living God, living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy is he all of a sudden not talking about rich in this world no. same verse he's still talking about rich in this world but we're having the living god give us richly all things to enjoy and it's certain say it's certain, it's certain. do you know what certain means well that's uncertain no it's the opposite of that it's certain if you learn listen if you learn to trust in the living god you will have certain riches in all things to enjoy mm -hmm. so here we got the living god who the living god who, living god who? You, you would need to know who the living god is in order to get the richly provides us with all things to enjoy because you're going to trust in him would it be okay to worship him the living god i'm worshiping a god who gives me richly all things to enjoy it's literally you can attach that to his name who gives me richly all things to enjoy do you know him as gives you richly all things to enjoy living god if he's a living God this is something he's doing to you and in your life when you trust in him is it okay for me to trust in worship and believe in the living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy you'd have to tear that out of your Bible if it wasn't okay he's the living God right mm -hmm. second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 for you are the temple of the living God as God has said I will dwell in them I will walk in them I will be their God they shall be my people you are the temple of the living God first Corinthians chapter 6 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you the other one said you're the temple of the living God this one says you're the temple of the Holy Ghost do you know he's called the living God so he's the living God and would it be okay to worship the living God yeah. if we read on here it says what no you're not your body's the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you therefore glorify God in your body who's the God in your body 
and what is another one of his names living God say the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Is, the living God. is the living God first Timothy chapter 6 but trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy living God the one who's in you the one that you are a temple of is giving you richly all things to enjoy glorifying him magnifying him in you gives you richly all things to enjoy do you know him as that do you know him as living God gives me richly all things to enjoy and so if I worship him I am worshiping living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you gives me richly all things to enjoy might sound strange to your ear but that's the fact that's who he is that's a living God hey that's a living God one that's alive giving you something you're the temple of the dead God that does nothing gives you nothing and waits for you to die that's what most people believe we're, we're serving and worshiping and magnifying and glorifying the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy it's attached to his name that's a living God I worship you Holy Ghost only we can see here that if he's giving us richly all things to enjoy how many things is that that seems like most things yeah. that's pretty much all things right, right. Mm -hmm. he is above all things so I don't worship at the altar of money I don't worship at the altar why would I I'm worshiping him he gives me richly all things I don't worship money you understand yeah. I don't worship at the altar of politics he's above all things all things yeah. Say all things. all things. I don't worship at the altar of education because he gives me richly all things. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you worship someone who gives you richly all things? <laughs> it's all things, meaning he's superior to all things. And we're called to trust not in uncertain riches. Think about uncertain riches. What do we know that to be talking about? Money. How did money come to be? economies governments writing money right How, the money the money system the monetary system trust not in all those things are propped up and based on something else society currency economy politics trust not in that but in living God who supersedes all of that he would have to supersede the politics he'd have to supersede the economy are you here meaning he's above it and it's sure where the other things are unsure his money his system is sure and it is not dependent on all of those other things if it's not dependent on all the other things it operates independent of it it operates above it he said don't trust in the unsure way place things trust in living God I hope you're hearing this living God who gives you richly all things say gives me, gives me. who does living God gives me richly all things mm -hmm. to enjoy another way you could say that is he gifts me and if you know anything about the Holy Ghost that's how he does things he gifts you what do you know about the gifts of the Spirit mm -hmm. they cover so many things right gifts of healings working of miracles special faith are those things dependent on the natural yeah. in fact no every one of them supersedes the natural it's dependent on his word and his kingdom and the way he does things it's not dependent in fact oftentimes it's the exact opposite of what the natural world is doing it's above the natural it's 
super natural it's super it's over it's from a different place than the natural mm -hmm. you know where the natural politics comes from either the devil or from the world right mm -hmm. natural economies natural currency all of those things oh god's dependent on it no he's not he says not to trust in that but to trust in him who gives you richly all things to enjoy supernatural it's above the natural genesis 18 14 says is there anything too hard for me yeah. jeremiah 32 17 says the same thing is there anything too hard for him yeah. all the gifts of the spirit function in this way they function above the natural something happens it begins to behave differently it superseded the known natural laws mm -hmm. you understand this is where well, this is why God isn't hindered by uh, stupid politicians he isn't hindered by dumb economies he's the living God giving you richly all things to enjoy irregardless of the situation because he supersedes the known natural principles he gifts you richly all things to enjoy say he, he gifts, gifts me he richly, richly all things all right. to enjoy when you said that you're speaking in agreement with his word those words begin to do something that's supernatural it's above the natural it goes right through the solid rock is there anything too hard for me no he just flows right through it all things to enjoy I hope you can hear this you don't know how much is in here the Holy Ghost would say to you you don't know how much is in how much is in here all things to enjoy it's way above what you can do in the natural I can guarantee you that because it comes from him we should make up our mind to know how much is in here all things means all things and when you begin to realize that these words are true you realize that you can rule the world with this 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 is how all the things of God work you rule the world say I rule the world, rule the world. you Lord over it the whole thing how is it he's giving you say he's giving me richly all things to enjoy why to rule over the world specifically your world but you don't know how far this will go how far do you think it'll go all things to enjoy you still here good I, I wanted to hear a message about how to rule the world that's how far this will go we're not just put here to be nothing to die and go to heaven we're put here for a purpose and it is to fulfill all of the Word of God first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25 because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger God's way begins where man's wisdom leaves off God's strength begins where man's strength leaves off every word of God supersedes circumstances supersedes the natural laws it's supernatural it's miraculous it's not like and I'm not saying that there's really anything wrong with this but if, if you were to go okay well I'm believing for some kind of something in my physical body and then all of a sudden you start on some program with some vitamins or something in the natural and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that there's probably a lot right with that but God healing your physical body or renewing your youth has very little to do with that it's super natural it began where other people left off that's why it's a miracle and people go I don't I don't understand it mm -hmm. I don't understand how it happened 
well you're never going to understand how it happened it was above your understanding well every word of God supersedes the natural supersedes circumstances first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God where should your faith stand in the power of God the power of God to do what to give you richly all things where should your faith be and we said that trust not in uncertain riches and all those things that got it there but trust in living God faith in the power of the living God who gives you richly all things to enjoy first Corinthians chapter 4 verse 20 for the kingdom of God or the domain of God is not in word but in power and that's a little misleading because we know the kingdom of God is in his words right so it will be in word and the power that's in the word the kingdom of God is in the power that's in the word and that power that's in the word will supersede any known law or circumstance every time every time it operates above mm -hmm. not below it begins where the other things left off not in word only but in word with power say word with power, word with power. how does God do everything how did God create this entire earth in word with power what supersedes everything that's in the earth word with power mm -hmm. you've heard me say this many many times every word of God has the ability within it the power within it to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. unless there's money involved unless there's currency involved unless there's a crooked politician involved no every word of God has the ability to bring itself to pass regardless of the situation the circumstance the sickness the poverty whatever the kingdom of God is in that word with power you can rule the world with this you know the Bible says when the righteous rule the people are glad somebody's got a rule what are you waiting for somebody's got a rule right we all think oh rule the world that's because you know we've had this Hollywood conception that if we rule the world you know we're gonna be this evil miser guy that's what we conjure up if somebody says they're gonna rule the world mm -hmm. well I got news for you Jesus at some point is gonna rule the world he's not gonna be an evil miser guy <laughs> it will be good well right now we have the Living God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today he's in us we're his temple he gives us richly all things to him what's your problem we should be he's he, that's his thing mm -hmm. what's he enjoy his kingdom rules over all he enjoys you ruling over things psalms 103 verse 19 the Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over some things nope. nope his kingdom rules over all well the Holy Ghost is in us the kingdoms in the Holy Ghost yes. his kingdom rules over all what can't you rule over nothing is that what the Bible says yes. we're supposed to be coming up in this the more you come up in it the more you'll rule over things the more you'll rule over sickness and disease mm -hmm. the more you'll rule over poverty or lack right we're coming up say I'm coming up, coming up. he made you a king and a priest what does a king do rules. they rule over all mm -hmm. living God gives me richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. his kingdom rules over 
say over. over that's where he rules is over it so it's time to take over it's time for me to take over say it's time, it's time. for me to take over you're gonna rule over all take over means to assume control we have assumed control if you have a sickness or a problem something in in your physical body you need to take control you need to get over it and I don't mean I'll get over it I mean get on top of it his kingdom rules over it it comes from a position that is above it that's supernatural it's time for me says the Holy Ghost to take over and if he's going to take over I hope you can hear that it's time for me says the Holy Ghost to take over it's time and if he's gonna take over where is he who's he in he's in you he needs a people who are willing to begin to take over not be under we've been under so long through religious garbage I mean like this message I'm preaching tonight how many churches be like ah no I can't receive that well they can't receive it because they've been brainwashed in the wrong direction mm -hmm. living God gives me richly all politics to enjoy <laughs> living God Holy Ghost gives me richly all things well how many more things do I need if he gives me all things the answer is none more right. <laughs> none more things it will bring you back to this place of Holy Ghost only I know I say it a lot of people don't understand thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall you serve if he if I found out that he is the living God should I worship him yes, yes. and if I found out that he the living God and through his being a living God gives me richly all things to enjoy all things and I need none more things who should I be serving yeah. Holy Ghost only but there's only one part of the Godhead in the earth today that is the living God giving you richly all things to enjoy Proverbs 29 2 says when the righteous rule the people are glad mm -hmm. when the righteous don't rule the people are sad <laughs> Got a lot of sad people because mm -hmm. the righteous people haven't been ruling are you here yes. but you've got to commit to it commit to what commit to taking over glorify God in your body what God the living God the one who takes over the one who is over mm -hmm. this God who is over all and gifts you richly all things I'm committed to going here taking over and I'm actively believing not only for myself for my partners to go here believing this for you to take over I'll get up in the morning and I'll worship the Holy Ghost for a period of time and then I will begin to confess certain scriptures one of them is Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with that I begin wearing the blessing of the Lord that makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it and then I believe for that to come on you my partners I wear it and then I believe for it to come on you those who bless me are blessed made rich have no sorrow added are you here yes I'm actively believing for it to come on you then first Timothy 6 17 living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living God Holy Ghost I worship you gives me richly all things to enjoy I begin wearing that that comes on me 
and then it comes on you and the living God begins to give you richly all things to enjoy Jesus said could you not pray with me one hour and he said when you pray say could you not say with me one hour I've learned that if I'll say one of those verses let's say first Timothy 6 17 the living God gives me richly all things to enjoy the living God gives me richly all things to enjoy is there power in living God gives me richly all things to enjoy yeah it's not just word only it's word and power and the power is in that word to bring itself to pass are you here let's say I say that for one hour one thing I've learned is that by the time I've said that for an hour living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I'm fully convinced that I have said it I know after that hour I've said that verse of scripture and at some point in that hour I've certainly believed it I believe it came on me I believe it came on you because there's power in that word to bring itself to pass yes. I have become a man of substance what's the substance the substance that's in first Timothy 617 and it's a supernatural substance which means it goes above the natural well when you worship him Holy Ghost do you know who you're worshiping I hope you know a little bit more now who are you worshiping when you worship the Living God the Holy Ghost the one who gives you gifts you richly all things to enjoy he is the greater one and he lives at the next let listen he's taking you to the next level because that's where he is he calls you to go there you are his temple he's teaching you how to go there and out of you says the Spirit of the Lord shall come greatness when you learn to go here out of you shall come great people and the next great people of the earth as they begin to obey me and worship me and speak in agreement with my word I shall surely bring it to pass and people will be astonished at how you've risen up from seemingly nowhere we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name that your blessing is remaining and resting on people as they've heard this word amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today as I bring my tithes and offerings I thank you that I am blessed and your blessing rests on me making me rich adding no sorrow and all things are given to me richly to enjoy in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 